how to find all the factors of any number fast. When you get into grade 8 and beyond, you may be given bigger numbers and told to find all their factors. If it makes you a bit nervous to do that with these numbers, don't worry, I'm going to help you with a new way to find all the factors that's super fast. In grade 7, I hope you learned to do prime factorisation. If you remember what to do and this is familiar to you, that's great, you're nearly there already. If you're not sure about prime factorisation or you want to review it, check out these films first, then come back for this video. OK, we are going to find all the factors of 210. We could try a guess and check approach and use a calculator to find all the factors. To be honest, this will take us ages. Instead, we go straight to prime factorisation to make life easy. 210 is not in any multiplication table we know, so we can start the prime factorisation with division. Our number is even, so we start with 2. 2's into 2, 1. 2's into 1, 0. And 2's into 10, 5 2's are 10, 105. Now of course we divide by 5. 5's into 10, 2. 5's into 5, 1. 21. Great! You get 21 from 3 times 7. They're both prime. We circle all the primes. Getting the prime factors is our first step. Already, you can see here we've found some of the factors of 210, but there are still more to find. And here's the great power of prime numbers. When we multiply all the prime factors of our number together in all possible combinations, it will give us every factor of our number, 210 in this case. That's such a powerful tool. And it's how online factor finders work. I read about that recently and it gave me the idea for the pen and paper method that I'm going to show you in a moment. It works every time and I want to share it with you. First, we need a sensible working area. We list our primes clearly, spaced out nicely, and then we multiply. On the first line, we multiply by our first number. So, 2 times 3 is 6. The 6 came from 2 times 3, so put it under the 3. 2 times 5 is 10, and 2 times 7 is 14. Next line, we do 3 times everything. 3 times 2 we've already got, 3 times 5 is 15, and 3 times 7 is 21. Next line, 5. 5 times 2 is done, 5 times 3 is done. 5 times 7 is 35. I don't need a line for 7 because 7 has already been multiplied by 2, 3 and 5. We do also have to multiply combinations of our prime factors together too. 2 times 3 times 5 is the same as 6 times 5, that's 30. 2 times 3 times 7, that's the same as 6 times 7, 42. 2 times 5 times 7 is the same as 10 times 7, 70. And 3 times 5 times 7 is the same as 15 times 7, that's 105. To finish off, we list all the factors of 210 in ascending order. Start with 1, then 2, 3, 5, 6, 7, 10, 14, 15. Just do what I'm doing, go through your list, and when they're all done, you finish up with 210, the number itself. This method lets you get at all the factors of a number very quickly, way faster than guess and check with a calculator. When you use this method, set your work out like I did here. It clearly shows your thinking. You know teachers love it when you show your thinking. It's also great for you too. As every step is written down, you get perfect notes for revision. 
With it, you will make short work of any problem where you have to find all the factors. You'll be glad you know it once you're into an exam. It will save you so much time. Now would be a great time to click the like button to help me too. I also want to show you a second worked example, this time with repeating primes. I want you to see it before you try it for yourself. That's a different video, so please come back for that one. And now, it's definitely time for you to practice this. When you've finished, check your work with an online factor finder and be impressed with your new math skill. See you next time for the repeating primes worked example.